Hey church, time for our weekly pastor's note. Um, you can no doubt hear the birds uh, all around in the trees behind me. I'm staring out of my garden that is beginning to grow lush green and all the flowers are out. I guess spring has always been a season of starting over and the gospel has always been about God giving us a chance to start over. And I think a lot of us feel that we've been given that opportunity with um, level two of lockdown. I think it's given us some opportunity to see our family and friends again. And my hope is that you would use this to begin to create space for the gospel to be at work. Um, as you read through the scriptures in our experience of church life, Grant, myself, the elders are convinced that community is the most important place in which God does some of his greatest work. Uh, Jesus, right in the beginning of his ministry, chose 12 people to walk with him, then gathered more and more. And in every place where the church went, a small group of people were gathered together around communion, around the scriptures, around prayer, and around a shared experience of what God was doing in their lives. So we really want to encourage you, now that we are legally allowed to, that you would begin to meet in your homes as life groups, that you would perhaps host watch parties at your houses on a Sunday morning. We obviously do do caution you to use every um, possible means to prevent the spread of COVID, uh, sanitizers, masks, uh, social distancing, as much as possible. But we really understand that there is a deep, deep need for the church to be gathering, and we want to encourage you to do that over this next season. Second thing, I want to remind you that the elders will be gathering on the 6th of uh, next month to uh, pray, to reflect with other ministry leaders as to what we are going to be doing in the, in the coming three to six months. This is really going to be a short-term strategy. Um, we believe that anything longer than that is going to be problematic. We just have no idea what the last bit of 2020 and the beginning of 2021 is going to look like. And so we want to slow down over that weekend, really pray, reflect, worship, and then uh, prayerfully discuss what God would be leading us to do in this next season. And I would ask you to hold us and the ministry leaders up in prayer as we begin to sharpen our thinking and pray that we'd be really sensitive to the voice of Holy Spirit as he guides us in that. And then thirdly, I want to remind you about Alpha. Uh, Grant and I were reflecting this afternoon. Uh, just not sure that as a congregation we have the, the evangelistic fervor that we should have. I'm not sure we perhaps understand at some level the weight of importance the gospel holds, that there is no way to see the face of God outside of faith in Christ. It doesn't matter how um, intentional people are about seeking God. It doesn't matter how determined they are. It doesn't matter how, um, how often they pray or how often they do religious rituals. Outside of a relationship with Christ himself, outside of having him touch your life and transform your life, there is no hope for the life to come. And we believe Alpha is a phenomenal tool to answer a lot of the questions that so many people have. In fact, all of us listening to this before we came to faith would have had those questions. And I know some of you listening to this still do. And so Alpha might be the tool just for you. And so we want to encourage you to be really intentional and really serious over this next few weeks uh, of inviting your friends to come and plug in and be part of online Alpha. It may be the one opportunity that totally changes the path and the trajectory of their lives. And so we want to encourage you to do that. So have a look at some of our promo material coming up next, and then we look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. Bless you all. Deep inside, we know that it'll cost us something to open up our lives and share our faith. But this is our call, to open our lives and to share Christ with the people close to us. That's why we're running Alpha. It's a course over several weeks where you can invite your friends to explore life's biggest questions over a meal. It's a chance for you to invite that person into an honest conversation about faith. Alpha, who will you invite?